What's up YouTube? It's Matt for Three Pound Fishing, your boy. And we are out here on a miserable winter day to catch some massive fish. Now, it is actually gun season in Illinois, so why I'm out here, I have no idea. Well, I could tell you why. My buddy told me that the fishing was incredible. So I'm gonna take it, you know, I gotta, I gotta go check it out, see if he's, if it's right. I should be gun hunting, but I got me a buck last night. I feel good about it, bam. So uh, Reno's here. We's about to go out in some miserable weather. I'm gonna show you what all of these big fish are about here on the lake. He said he was catching 14 inches, 15 inches. Well, we're gonna see if there's some truth to that. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Please subscribe. He's about to put some fish in the boat. There he is, check him out. Right there. He's picking me up. Get ready for a fantastic episode from Three Pound Fishing. Thanks to these great sponsors. What up? I'll tell you what, yesterday was epic. Well, I just told the viewers that that's what you said. So we're on board, here we go. Reno says it's an epic day. Yes, sir. Yep, yesterday was an epic day. We got white caps going on. I think we're the only boat out here. No, there are other boats out here. Okay, so there are other nuts. It is gun season. It is day number two of gun season, so I should be shooting a buck, but hey, check this out. So Reno just up did, you know, upgraded his boat. He, uh, this is all new stuff within the last month and a half, month? Yeah, yeah, so he's got. Go Two 12 inch screens. He's got it set up. He's got the old tracks we came out. That was earlier this year, I believe. Yeah, I bought that. And earlier. then he's got two 12 inch. Check that out. So, have you got have you got the uh, active capture working yet? No, I haven't even tried. Do you have any SD cards on any of them? No. Okay. So we won't be able to show you active captain, but I'll just show you some close-ups. And those screens are big enough. I don't think it's gonna matter. But this is an epic day. The 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 steam is rising from the lake. We've it got water. Cold. It's, it's cold. Windy. This is perfect winter fishing. It is going to be spitting rain all day. Yeah. So we got 51 temperatures, water degree temperatures right now. I do see a couple boats, which is cool. So hey, let's put some slabs in the boat. We just got out here. We're getting started. We're we're, we're actually scanning points, and so that's always a, a great tip for winter fishing. You start off the uh, points uh, in the main lake and scan out. Do your side imaging. Nine more to go. All right, so there's a. That's a good start. Reno gets the the day started on. What was that? Your first cast. First cast. First, ca first cast with the minnow. So marking a lot of fish. You can see. Show them that. And chunky we're out here fishing with just about everything right now just got started this is my second cast so it's gonna be a good day folks great day glad to have you please subscribe we're about to put some fish in the boat I'm gonna show you some. Today I'm fishing with the uh, the 10 foot pro series right here what I like about the 10 footer and a lot of people are gonna ask why aren't you using a caster in fact Reno's even using a, a shorter rod what's that seven six yeah what i like about fishing with a 10 footer and why i encourage it is that it allows you to pitch further so 
I've showed it before where you can grab that line like this and then pitch a really good distance and uh, if you see those fish on that live scope 10 footer folks pro series gray from ozark rod ozarkrod.com check them out right now what i'm doing is i'm dead sticking with a minnow and i'm throwing a double rig setup on eight pound line right there that are not familiar with what a dead stick is it's just basically laying a pull down a rod down and letting it do its thing usually it's with a float and it'll just sit out there and I keep my eye on the float for the most part and uh, you will miss a lot of fish by doing that there's no doubt um, if the fishing's really good you don't you don't mess with it but we're just getting started here so we're trying different things seeing what works and what doesn't Today I'm using the, uh, the whatchamacallit Jinko fishing right here. Got a nice little uh, paddle tail on the tickle fry. Probably my favorite bait right now. I need to order up some of these with the blue with the blue grass. I like that color too. More the natural colors right now than anything else. tail that white slasher head right there that's a 1 ounce slasher head with that whatchamacallit tickle fry from jinko fishing check them out at jinkofishing.com freaking awesome put some big fish in the boat like this it's a 12 inch solid fish right there hey! maybe no if i don't put more fish in the boat <laughs> But all we're doing is fan casting out. So right now we're both dead sticking a, a, a bobber and minnow and then we're both throwing out jigs as well. The jig bite's not on quite yet, but Reno assures me that it's going to occur this afternoon. So we haven't found a real big concentration of fish yet. And as this wind continues to, to build up and throughout the day, the fish will build up on these points. That's the story. Beautiful day, about 35 degrees, overcast. This is the ideal day. Steam rolling off the lake. The wind's died down just a little bit since we came out here, which is nice, but. You know, there's only maybe two or three boats out here. Smaller guy, but it'd be a great eater if you were into smaller, just wanting some eating fish. Hi, a 10 incher, good fish.
right. I don't know, mine don't have teeth. This one sure does, I think. That's a good fish. Pretty, pretty fish. You want that one? Oh, look at that. That's tight. Hold on. He's not done yet. <laughs> All right, one thing that's special about the Pro Series, it's got about two to three inches extra on that cork handle. That allows me to grab it way up here and use my elbow as leverage as I'm bringing those fish in. Huge advantage to have that extra piece. Otherwise, you'd be grabbing onto the actual rod itself. So when you look at the Pro Series, one of the benefits is without a doubt this cork handle is actually about two to three inches longer and you can check that out when you look at other rods very unique I love it because I'm fishing I'm jigging I'm doing whatever I want to host that I can grab it way up here and really get the leverage I need to bring the big fish in so Pickle fry, man, I'm telling you. It's hot, hot, hot right there. There it is. Check them out at jinkofishing.com. That is a hot bait right there, my favorite. Slash her head, 1 16th ounce. Bam! It's on that tickle fry. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks a lot, guys, for joining us today. We appreciate it. It's been a great day on the water. Please subscribe, and uh, we're going to be doing these episodes all through the winter. It's going to get a lot nastier than this. And between Reno and Marcus, the diehards, we're going to be out here bearing it all. So thanks again. Appreciate it. Reno was right. After about two o'clock, we hammered them. So after we stopped videoing, we actually caught probably about 30 more fish and man, they were all great size. So an epic day. Unfortunately, I did not video it at all, but still a great day.